When you choose a real estate agent to list your home, that's going to be a relationship that's going to be a very intimate one, a very close one and part of your life for at least several months of your life. It's one you wanna choose very wisely. You wanna make sure it's built on a very solid foundation. In today's video, I'm gonna go through all of the questions I think you should be asking and why when are you trying to choose that relationship of who's going to list your home here in Central Maine, 2023. Stick around. We're going to get into that today. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is Central Maine's realtor, Nick Isgro. And as I just said at the beginning, today I want to lead you through some of the steps, some of the questions that you should be asking to build a really solid foundation to make sure that the real estate agent you choose to list your home for sale this year is going to be the best agent that's going to work out for you. Because every agent is different and every client is different really. So it's bringing the two together, making sure that those two people, those two parties, you and them are gonna to get together, have that common ground built on a solid foundation so you can get the results that you want, which is obviously the highest return for the sale in your home in the shortest amount of time possible. Now, before I get into that, I wanna welcome you here to the channel. If you've never been here before, we cover all things real estate here in the state of Maine, but particularly, right here in the central main market. If that's of interest to you or adds value to your process in the buying or selling of homes, or maybe you just like real estate here in central Maine, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button on this video, hit subscribe, knock that little alarm bell. You'll be notified every time I put out new content. Jumping right in at the beginning here, I'm gonna get into the kind of the big elephant in the room. This is always gonna be the biggest hurdle on the front end of that relationship. And typically the first thing that comes up as you start to interview agents, as you're looking for agents to work with, and it's something that obviously is going to have an importance to you as the seller, and that is the price of your home. Now, when I say the price, what do I mean? I mean the price that your home is listed to sell. Now, I'm gonna get into this. I wanted to spell a myth right up front, and the myth is that agents set the price. Agents do not set the sale price of your home. Ultimately, you, the seller, determine the sale price of your home. What the agent's job is, what my job is, if I'm working with you, is to be able to provide you with a lot of data, a lot of analysis to tell you how I think your home should be priced, why I think it should be priced that way, and why I really feel that that is the best market value for your specific home in your specific neighborhood at this specific time. If I can't explain those things, I'm not doing my job ultimately, you're gonna have an idea in your head of what it should be listed for. As we look at the analysis, often what happens is a seller may have an idea in their head, the agent uh, comes in with the analysis, and then as you start to analyze the market together, you look at you know where are the price gaps in the market and you work on that pricing strategy, it becomes very clear and the two parties come together. And when this happens, that's a great sign that that's an agent that you're gonna to wanna to work with. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes an agent says, you know what, there's no way I'm listing a home at that price. Sometimes a homeowner says, you know, I just don't like the analysis. I don't think you're, you're in the ballpark. If those two can't come together, it's probably not gonna work out and that's okay because you know what? I'm not meant to sell every house. Every agent out there isn't meant to work with you. It just is what it is. And this is part of the process of making sure you get the right agent for you. So it's not about personal feelings or feeling bad. It's about making sure that you you feel comfortable, that the analysis has been done, the analysis has been explained, and you feel really good going to market at the price that you both decide. All right, the second thing that I wanna get into today is asking that agent what is going to be the marketing plan for your specific property. When I say marketing plan, I really mean several things. You know. Listing the home on the MLS is going to be a given. So we're gonna all go out there, your home's gonna be listed on the MLS. It's going to go out to all of those other sites. It's going to be on my website, it's going to be on Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, and really all of the smaller ones that are out there. Anything that's attached to that main MLS, any website is going to be able to get that data, pick it up, so you're assured really as a basic level of service that that's what you're gonna get. Other places you wanna ask about, you know, for example, are social media. Is the home gonna be on social media? Is it gonna be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn? Uh, is it gonna be on YouTube? And that brings me to kind of another point. Is it going to be professional photography or is the agent coming in, uh, you know, with their iPhone and kind of just snapping quick pictures here and there? Is it going to be video? Will you have video tours of the home on YouTube? Will you have video tours of the home maybe as an Instagram or a Facebook reel? That's really where today, by the way, 
we're getting a lot of traction. That's where we get a lot of exposure of your home. Whereas in the past, it was probably a really great strategy to put your home in that little flyer at the grocery store in 1987. But here in 2023, we can reach not just hundreds of people or maybe dozens today who's ever grabbing that flyer at the store. We can reach literally thousands of people depending on the right marketing strategy on social media. It is really the best way to get your home out there, but you wanna make sure it's not just a picture of the outside of the home thrown onto Facebook and that's all you're getting ask about what that strategy looks like. Again, also ask about the photography, you know, look for work by that specific photographer. Look at past listings that that agent has put out there. See what they've done on other listings, see what they have looked like. If you get a good feel for that, if you like it, probably just another sign along the way that that's an agent that you might want to work with. And here's a little caveat too, you know, there's a lot of newer, younger agents out there who are really hungry and are working their way up and want to do a great job too. Maybe they haven't had that listing that they've used professional photography on yet. If they don't have that in their background and you really like that specific agent, ask him or her, you know, are you willing to engage a professional photographer? Because the photography really does make a difference. I can't stress this enough. It's something I've gravitated to. I think most agents are starting to gravitate to, but don't always count somebody out. I would just, if you really like the agent and they haven't really had that experience yet, it might be okay. Just ask if they're willing to do it. If they are, you can keep moving through the process. All right, the next thing I wanna bring up is something that's always gonna come up in this process, and that is what is the cost of selling the home? What is your standard fee for service? the real estate agent. A lot of homes are gonna be listed at typically, you know, 6% or 5% depending on the price of the home. What you wanna ask, and I think this goes back to those other things, the, you know, the marketing plan. What are you really getting? Are you getting professional photography? Are you getting the video tours done? Are you getting, you know, oftentimes if I sell a home that's in town, uh, not, you know, not in a more rural spread out district, um, I might go door to door with some flyers and do some marketing that way really leaving no stone unturned to make sure I'm getting as many leads as I can, driving that home in front of as many people and possibilities as I can. So when you talk about the standard fee for service on the sale of your home, you wanna look at it in context for what are these other things that you're getting, including the relationship, the system that they're using to sell your house, and the marketing plan that might be involved as well. Because one of the things you don't wanna do as the market continues to get more and more competitive and buyers are seeing more opportunities in the market, is you know go with that person who might promise you some like rock bottom price maybe three percent four percent what you don't realize is a what they're showing on the mls is that they're probably offering the buyer's agent one percent so they're not going to be motivated to come and look at your house uh, and they're probably coming in again maybe taking some lousy photos with the iphone not giving your home that real chance to be top of the market to get that real curb appeal to make it pop to make it stand out so just things you want to ask, not saying that those are always going to be the case, not saying that a lower fee for service isn't going to work out for you in every scenario. Just make sure you know what you're getting when you get it. All right, the fourth thing you might want to ask about when you're trying to choose an agent to list your home is experience. What is the agent's experience? Do they have experience selling homes? Do you have examples of homes they sold? What are the statistics on some of those homes? Um, this is a question you want to ask. Now, I say this as always, I don't like to say anything as absolute. There are some great younger agents out there. There are some great newer agents um, who maybe they don't have any experience or maybe they've only sold one or two homes, but maybe they're a whiz at social media. Maybe they have a really great relationship with a photographer and a drone operator. Maybe they know their marketing. So I'm not saying don't go with somebody um, because of the lack of experience necessarily. All of the things I'm going over in this video, I want you to take in context of a larger picture, and we will recap that at the end. But you do want to know the agent's experience because that is going to be important to some people, less important to others. Um, but as you put this whole puzzle together, that's where you want to get the fuller picture, you know, when you look at all of these pieces together. So experience, what is maybe the lack of experience, and get that question out of the way and you can put it into the fuller picture at the end and decide if that's going to be the agent for you. This last thing I want to bring up here when talking about choosing an agent to list your home, it's not really a question you can ask and this is personality and this is something as you meet with this person, as this man or woman comes into your home and speaks to you about their marketing plan, answers your question, and you kind of get to know each other and build that rapport on the front end, you're gonna get a good sense of what their personality might be like. Also, check out their social media. Um, you know, you wanna go onto their Facebook and Instagram and YouTube channels, check them out, get a good sense of them beforehand. Does that line up 
with what you're seeing in front of you. Are they coming across as authentic or maybe there's somebody totally different online than the person that you meet in person. At the end of the day, you want to make sure it's a personality that you're going to be able to contend with or that is going to be comfortable for you. Remember, on your end of this transaction, there's going to be a lot of emotion sometimes. There's going to be a lot of stress at times. There could be a lot of times when you're riding really high and times where you might be hitting pretty low during this process of the sale of your home. You want that steady influence. You want that personality that you know is just going to be the steady hand that's going to be able to A, not take anything personally in the midst of maybe the low points and be able to celebrate with you on the high points, uh, more or less. So make sure the personality fits. So just a recap at the end of this thing, you know, and I, I really want to stress, you want to take all of these things together and what's important to you might not be important to the next seller or the next seller. What these categories go in order of ranking of importance is going to differ from person to person to person. You have to decide what's most important to you and when you put the full picture together, uh, is this the right agent for you? So again, you know, the price of your home, does it sound like the right price for you? Are you comfortable with it? Do you understand? Uh, were you able to have it explained why this is the right price for your home? Do you feel like you're together with the agent on the pricing strategy? The marketing plan, do you feel this person's gonna put all their effort in, go above and beyond in the marketing, and at least give it their best shot to make sure your home has the best chance of getting sold at the highest price? Uh, three, what is the cost of that transaction to you? What is the standard fee for service? Uh, when it comes to marketing these other things, what are you getting out of that? You know, Because perhaps a little bit higher fee for service might get you a better chance to have a higher dollar return on your home rather than accepting a lower offer. So that's something that could come through. What experience does that person have selling homes? Again, not always the biggest thing. You might find that this person's less experienced, but they have a way better marketing plan. They just seem hungrier and you might like their personality better. So personality, one of the most important things. But I think these are the big five that I would think about when thinking about listing my home. Go through them, kind of get your sense together, determine when I put this whole picture together, do I feel like this is the person that's going to best fit me in getting me from where I am to where I want to go, get my home sold, and get me moving to that other lifestyle that I've been thinking about? That's really it today, guys. Um, you know, just kind of the, the nuts and bolts of things I think you should be looking at when thinking about who you're going to choose to list your home for sale here in Central Maine 2023. Um, what is your experience? Maybe you're thinking about selling your home right now. Maybe you've gone through this process. Maybe you made a decision you loved. Maybe you made a decision you didn't love. Whatever that was, go ahead and drop a comment below. would love to hear from you there. Of course, if you're looking for an agent to speak to about a potential sale and you just, maybe you want somebody to run the numbers, maybe you want to go a little bit more in depth on any of the things I talked about today, all of my contact information is linked in the post below. And of course, as always, I thank each and every one of you for sticking around at the end of this video. And until the next one, I'll see you next time.